reaction this is to, um, I guess, so this, this, I guess, this is a Marvel's best action scenes, I'm assuming from like different types of movies, but let's just see what this is about, I'm not gonna talk anymore. I've never said this, but don't swallow. Excelsior. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 action scenes in Marvel movies. Okay. I'm gonna try to limit my talking. This is a pretty long video. For this list, we'll be counting down all the thrilling scenes from Marvel films that kept our minds in a perpetual state of blown. As you might have guessed, a spoiler alert is probably yeah, in order. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Number 10, Spaceship Fight, Guardians of the Galaxy. Nebula, please. <laughs> Despite being a relatively obscure Marvel title, Guardians was a huge hit, in large part due to a variety of exhilarating and action-packed moments. However, while the all-out brawl scenes, such as the prison break, serve to provide viewers with stimulating visuals, they can never quite compare to the intimacy of a one-on-one -on -one bout between sisters. Well, you gotta hurry. The city's been evacuated, but we're getting our asses kicked out here. Opting to settle their sibling rivalry once and for all, Gamora and Nebula engage in intense bladed combat aboard the Dark Aster. After a hole is blown into the wall of the ship, Nebula finds herself hanging on for dear life. But rather than siding with her sister, she decides to end things her way. I know you're both crazy. <laughs> Number 9. Attack on the Frost Giants. Thor. Frost Giants meet Mjolnir. Mjolnir, Frost Giants. Apart from the impressive fight choreography on display here, this sequence successfully defines Thor's character as he was before he became worthy enough to wield his enchanted hammer. The overzealous, ignorant, and boorish nature of the Asgardian prince is displayed fully as he rips through countless frost giants for sport before finally finding himself and his friends cornered and outnumbered. This scene also offers a glimpse at Loki's true colors, suggesting that Thor's brother isn't what he seems. Ultimately, Thor is exiled to Earth for his actions, stripped of his powers, and forced to prove his honor. Number 8. Hulkbuster vs. Hulk, <sighs> Avengers Definitely. Age of Ultron okay. Have you ever had a fight with a friend who can transform into a thousand pound embodiment of rage and destruction? Well, Tony Stark has. Any scene that involves the Hulk on a rampage calls for powerful and loud visuals, and this scene provides that in spades. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Equipped with his Hulkbuster suit, Tony tries everything to subdue an out of control Bruce Banner before he levels an entire city. <laughs> Using his trademark witty quips and banter, Tony tries desperately to save Banner from himself and the judgment of the general public. Number 7. Wolverine vs. Lady Deathstrike, X2, X-Men I can, I can take this. I used to think you were one of a kind, Wolverine. Now, I've seen this guy knows how many times. I was wrong. These two bladed mutants get right to the point. The X-Men's most fierce combatant meets his match when pitted against Lady Deathstrike. Most fans remember this scene for its brilliant martial arts choreography and the fact that Wolverine comes face to face with another adamantium enhanced mutant, one who would have bested him if not for his healing abilities.
but while Death Strike certainly leaves her mark, nobody beats Wolverine in a knife fight. While Nightcrawler's White House breach scene earlier in the film is certainly memorable, watching Deathstrike and Logan clash their adamantium claws is a and highlight that have been of the series here. The as a whole. <sighs> Whatever. Number six, Stark escapes Iron Man. man I Give a man a missile, he I've can only... blow some stuff up. Give Tony Stark I've only seen this film once, so I don't remember And he's likely to build a weaponized of suit of armor to kick your ass. Escape scenes only truly work when the captor is devoid of all hope. Beaten and enslaved, it seems like Stark is all out of options. But we soon learn never to underestimate this brilliant engineer. My turn. The Mark I's grand debut is not only a spectacle, but also amazingly satisfying, as it sets yep. Stark on his path to become a hero. Pretty damn cool. Number 5. Expressway Fight, Deadpool a number of tried and true ways to build an intro sequence in a superhero movie. And then there's Deadpool's way. Mm -hmm. Maximum effort. On the Merc with a Mouth's quest for vengeance, he encounters a troop of henchmen traveling down a freeway in an SUV and decides to give them all a taste of his maximum effort. The entire scene works as both visual eye candy as well as a comical delight, staying true to the character's nature. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? I forgot about that. I got The film's willingness to make fun of itself complements the over the top violence of the scene, which also successfully sets the tone for the rest of the movie. Four. Gotcha. Yeah. Number four, the train scene, Spider-Man 2. Oh man, <clears throat> one of the most memorable scenes I've ever seen. What about you guys? You'll find everything you need to know about Spider-Man in this scene. His drive and unrelenting will to help people and the physical toll that that responsibility takes on him are aptly demonstrated. You have a train to catch. Doc Ock sends a train full of people speeding towards their doom, and Spidey makes a desperate effort to stop it by standing at the front and webbing every passing building to slow its momentum, sacrificing his own body in the process. Peter is shockingly unmasked, and the audience can see the intense expression of pain on his face as he exhausts all his strength to fight the train's force. This epic sequence concludes with the rescued citizens realizing that their hero is just a kid. Shocked, they promise to keep his identity a secret. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they told the whole this for the whole goddamn world the next day. I know I would. Number three, freeway attack. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. But just think about that, I mean, it's like, you're literally like holding on to two different ones and because your body's just like being pulled back, it's like, it must be a lot of pain. So I don't, he's strong, but obviously, yeah, I don't think he was strong enough to be able to just take that much punishment. But anyways, let's move on. That is a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> Got it. The second entry in the Captain America series is among the best films the genre has to offer and is filled with memorable action scenes, including Nick Fury being ambushed by a team of Hydra soldiers. Window integrity, 1%. Now! But the scene in which the Winter Soldier attacks Black Widow and Cap takes the cake as the best and most impactful sequence in the film. The movie abandons the MCU's typical large-scale city-destroying superhero action scenes in favor of a much more grounded approach, making the scene all the more impressive and intimate. 
man. Why every... Why, why every time Black Widow is in a fight, she always has to she always has to wrap her legs around her opponents, mostly their heads. Like I understand that there's a lot of female characters that do that, but I don't know. She does it way too. Much. I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I just, I just want to get my thoughts about that. So let's just move on. I just want to make sure they don't mess up my hair. The scene ends with Steve knocking oh, yeah. off the Winter Soldier's mask to discover that the man he's been fighting is really his childhood friend Bucky, a man he believed to be dead. Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? Number two, Battle of New York, The Avengers. One of the best. Avengers Assemble. This film is a significant landmark in the history of the superhero genre. In this scene, the first time our heroes join forces to become a real team is a big part of its legacy. How do we do this? As a team, I have unfinished business with Loki. Yeah? we will get in line. Save it. Loki's gonna keep this fight focused on us and that's what we need. For lifelong fans and newcomers alike, the long-awaited live-action team-up of this iconic superhero group more than delivered. The grand sequence takes place throughout Manhattan, with the impending threat of an alien invasion at the hands of the Chitauri raising the stakes and providing our heroes with seemingly impossible odds to overcome. Fun. No character is shortchanged in this scene, and the camaraderie and banter between the group comes off as completely authentic. Fans could not wait to see more. You, you, you see what I mean? What? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Yep, definitely. I, I, remember, I remember this. Same thing, I've only seen this movie once, so I cannot see it. Alright, yeah, this was this was kinda of funny. Not that much, but it was funny nonetheless. Number Yes, thank you. I was hoping this was gonna be in the list at least. Almost everybody agrees that this was the best uh, action scene in Marvel in Marvel movies. Well, like actually, heroes in general. Let me just give you a, a little a, a little backstory before we finish off this little video. Last year, me and my friends were debating on who should we whose team should we be on. Aaron said Iron Man. I'm like Captain America. But he, here's the thing, though. He told me that he ended up asking one of his friends, "Whose team are you going for?" And I think he asked a girl. I'm not gonna say her name, but she said Captain. I'm like, okay, that's cool, all right. But then I'm like, okay, but did she tell you why though? And he's like, yeah, there's only one reason. Why is that? Is it because he, he's he's stronger? Is it because you know he has a shield? Like, what what's the reason? What could possibly be the one reason? And out of all the reasons, it's because he's handsome, I think, or something like that. I wish I would have been there. Just if you ladies out there love, Chris, if you love Captain America, I'm pretty sure you love Chris Evans and not the goddamn character. But you know what? That, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna judge you on, on what you like. But and and really quick, another little fun story is that we, me and Eric, persuaded one of our friends to whose side should you? Be? Like I told him, hey, be on my side. He's like, no, be on my side. You know, we were telling him be on our side, whatever. And at the end. <laughs> He did, he chose neither he, because he he was like should I get an Iron Man shirt or a Captain America shirt that's why we told him so we were like yeah get this T-shirt of this guy instead but he's like you know what I'm gonna get a Thor shirt instead a Thor shirt and we were just like okay then all right we're we're fine with that you know you're not you're not on my side you're not on his side either you know it's um it's yeah we like every time when we when we decide on something whether it be oh should we do this should we do that. He's always the last guy to vote, so we always tell him that we, we pressure him on what to choose. It's I feel bad sometimes, but anyways, if this is the best uh, live action scene in Marvel than Marvel that I've ever seen. I mean, come on, you have oh my god! And one more thing, one more thing. I'm not gonna lie with you guys. Although I was on Captain's side, I gotta admit Iron Man's team was better. I mean, I mean you had War Machine, Spider Man, Black Panther. Oh my god, Spider Man, why? Like I grew up, I grew up with Spider Man, and I, now I have beef with this guy. Man, when I was a little kid, I. I I wore the costume. I was playing Spider-Man One, Spider-Man Two, Spider-Man Three. I bought the cartoons. I, when I heard that he was that he was on Iron Man's side, I got a little a little upset. It's fine though. But yeah, this this is great. Let, let's just see what they got to say about this. For one, airport battle, Captain America: Civil War. 
Wow, it's so weird how you run into people at the airport. Don't you think that's weird? Definitely weird. Hear me out, Tony. This scene is what dreams are made of for diehard Marvel fans. You've seen them all fight alongside each other, but you've never seen them go head to head like this. At least not on the big screen. Not only were viewers blessed with seeing the original Avengers face off, they also got the opportunity to see franchise newcomers like Spider-Man and Black Panther join the fray. Cap Captain? Big fan of Spider-Man? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just... Hey, everyone. Good job. The fight choreography, clever use of each hero's powers, and quippy dialogue works together in unison to bring together what will surely be known as one of the most memorable scenes in MCU yeah. history. Oh. Does anyone have any orange slices? Do you agree with our list? And the thing about it too, because as we all know, towards the end of it, we had, um, it was two on one, you know, it was the soldier and Cav against Iron Man. And I swear to you, um, after the movie was over, we all left the theater and we were all debating on who really won. And honestly, I feel like it was more of a draw. But of course, being the idiots that we are, all night it was just like, oh no, we won. And then we, of course, we had to explain, well, maybe we won because maybe it was a draw, because, or maybe it was, a, you know, just so many just answers basically, like, or theories, I guess. Believe it or not, that's actually the only, that, that was the first and only time my whole clique and I went to go watch a movie. Like, it's like usually it's like only three or four of us because like you, right right now currently it's it's five of us and that's the only time we all went but all, and I, I kind of ruined it because there was a time where in 20 I think 15 it was six of us and we had the opportunity to to be all six of us but unfortunately I was the one that screwed it up because I think my my parents had wanted me to do something or something happened so I was able to rebound with all five of us but unfortunately the other guy moved away and I haven't seen him ever since overall yeah it was great there was some that they that was a lot that they left out, but whatever, it's fine. All right, so I don't know what you guys think. Is the one that they left out or whatever, 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 whatever? Is there, is there a what's your favorite? It's all that stuff. So I, I cannot talk right now. That's gonna wrap this up. I'll probably have like maybe one more reaction video. I think I already did like three of them. The first two, then this one. So yeah, this, count, this counts as three. So I have one more to get up. Oh man, I got a lot of requested videos. All right, guys, so be sure to hit that goddamn notification button. Make sure you like, comment, and ho hopefully subscribe. Until then, Rick was rich. Sign out.